Samsung and Motorola just released their brand new flip phones on the exact same day, and the day that they released is not their only similarity. In fact, there's a lot about these two phones that make them very similar, but at the same time, there are a couple things that make them different. Not to spoil it for you though, they're both excellent phones. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over all the pros and cons of both phones, the Z Flip 6 and the Razer Plus 2024, and let you guys know which phone I think is better and which phone you should buy. Spoiler alert though, they're both pretty excellent phones and you can't really go wrong with either of them. But let's start off this comparison video with the design. These two phones are almost exactly the same when it comes to overall dimensions. The Motorola is slightly larger, but not by much, and width-wise, they're almost identical. But each one of these phones takes a slightly different approach to the industrial design, and some details I like, and some details I don't. But let's start things off with the Motorola Razr Plus 2024. Not only is this phone slightly taller than the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, it also features these rounded edges. Not only are these metal edges rounded, but they're also very, very glossy. But that glossiness is immediately contrasted by the matte finish of this vegan leather on the back of the phone. Now, for those of you that don't know, vegan leather is essentially plastic, and that's why it's vegan, because there's no parts of animals used in the leather. But surprisingly, even though this material is basically plastic, it still feels almost like leather. And I'll be honest, before I got this phone in hand, I thought that I really wouldn't like this detail, but after using this phone for about a week, I actually really enjoy it, mainly because it helps me grip the phone. I have a bad habit of dropping phones, and this has really helped me not do that as much. Although if you watch my unboxing video, I dropped it twice in one video. <laughs> The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 takes a very different approach to the industrial design. Rather than having organic shapes and even organic style materials, it goes for a much more minimal and simple look. The edges of this phone are flat like some of the other phones in Samsung's lineup, and it features sort of a satin finish to the metal. In a totally different approach to the back of the phone, the Z Flip 6 features a glass back made of Gorilla Glass Victus 2. And while yes, as an industrial designer, I love the minimalism and the simplicity of this backing, I miss the personality of the Razer. One of the biggest differences that I noticed between these two phones is not something that you can really read about in reviews. It's kind of just something that you have to feel after using these phones for a couple days to a couple weeks. And that is flippability. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 is very easy to flip because these rounded edges allow you to get a finger under there pretty easily. Well, I didn't do a very good job there, but wow, I suck at this. The Galaxy is ever so slightly more difficult to open because you really do have to use two hands. And because of that, I'd say as far as usability goes, I prefer the Razr. On both the Z Flip 6 and the Razr Plus 2024, the hinges have been completely redesigned. And while I can't give you a long-term durability score of these hinges because I haven't used these phones for a year, I will say that the Razr's hinge is a little bit easier to open, albeit it doesn't feel as secure as the Samsung's. That said, I'm never really worried about this phone flipping over while I'm using it. The Samsung's hinge feels very tight and very secure. However, I wish it was a little bit easier to open. Open. Speaking of the new hinge, both Samsung and Motorola have claimed that their new hinges reduce the visibility of the crease in the center of the screen, and I'll be honest, they both definitely look better than last year's versions of both of these phones. It's really hard to say which one overall is better, they're both pretty similar. If I had to choose which crease is less noticeable, I guess I'd go for the Samsung, but it's also possible that because I've had the Motorola Razr for like five days longer, this crease might be worse just because I've used it more. But the biggest design difference between these two phones is the front screen. I mean, just looking at them, I'm sure you can see what the difference is. The Samsung's Z Flip 6 comes with a 3.4 inch display that has this interesting cutout for the cameras. And the Motorola Razr Plus has a four inch display that actually covers almost the entire front of the phone. And while yes, you do technically have cutouts for the cameras, it just kind of looks like they're floating there in the middle of the screen. Now besides just the size and shape differences, these front screens are also different in other ways. The Samsung screen gets significantly brighter than the Motorola screen, which is helpful outdoors. However, the Motorola screen is significantly faster. It gets up to 165 Hertz, whereas the Samsung only gets 60 Hertz. And while sure, you can use all of your apps on both front screens, like responding to text messages, watching Netflix for some reason, and even playing games, the Motorola does all of that out of the box. You can literally install an app on your phone and use it on the front screen right away. The Samsung only has certain widgets that you can use out of the box, and you have to install the GoodLock app to actually allow it. It's not a difficult process, but for someone who wants to be able to use their phone immediately right out of the box for everything that it can do, the Motorola is probably the way to go. For me, even though the Motorola screen is not as bright as the Samsung screen, I definitely prefer it. I like the larger size, I like the faster refresh fresh rate. Overall, I just like it better. But now let's get to the main reason that you would buy this phone, the internal flip screens. So as you might be able to tell right off the bat, the Motorola screen is slightly larger. It comes in at 6.9 inches, whereas the Samsung comes in at just 6.7. That being said, the size difference is negligible, and when you're holding them both in hand, if you hold them far enough apart, you can't even notice a difference. Like the outer screen though, the inner screen is faster on the Motorola. It gets a refresh rate of up to 165 hertz, whereas the Samsung only gets a refresh rate up to 120 hertz. That being said, realistically, for most people, they're most likely never gonna notice the 165 hertz refresh rate and 120 hertz is very fast as it is so 
that's not that important. One difference you may notice if you have these two phones side by side is that the Samsung phone does get brighter on the inner screen as well as on the outer screen. I probably should have used more similar wallpapers, but I didn't think about it until just now. But now let's get to internals and tech specs. The Motorola Razr comes with a Snapdragon 8S Gen 3, whereas the Samsung comes with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. And even though the 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy is a slightly older chip than the 8S, the 8S is technically a slower chip. Both phones can come with 12 gigabytes of RAM, and both phones can also come with either a 256 gigabyte internal storage drive or a 512 gigabyte internal storage. And when it comes to real world use, they both felt very, very similar. I don't do benchmarking because I would never do that in real life. They both felt the same. Sure, the Samsung is technically slightly faster, and maybe over the next couple years with more intensive apps, you might notice a difference, but for right now, I didn't notice too much difference. Both phones have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. However, through daily usage, I did notice that the Razer did last slightly longer, usually by 30 minutes to an hour. Not a huge difference, but if you're the kind of person who doesn't want to charge your phone a lot, maybe the Motorola is the better way to go. One big difference between these two phones is charging speed. Obviously, they both get wireless charging, but when it comes to wired charging, the Motorola charges up to 45 watts, whereas the Samsung can only get up to 25 watts which is surprisingly slow, and it's actually the same charging speed that you get on the Z Fold 6, which is disappointing. But now let's talk about one of my favorite features in both of these phones, and that's the cameras. Now, Samsung is well known for their excellent cameras, and the cameras that you have on this phone are basically the same cameras that you have on the S24 and the Z Fold 6. You get a 50 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And for someone like me who likes to vlog with my phone, the 12 megapixel ultra wide is a must have. And I'll say as far as color accuracy and sharpness goes, the Samsung is on point. Now the 50 megapixel main camera is a slightly older camera that they've been using in their phones for the last couple years, but it is a big upgrade over the Z Flip 5. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 also has a 50 megapixel main shooter, but it swapped out its ultra wide camera from last year for a 50 megapixel two times telephoto lens. According to Motorola, the reason that they did that is they found that their users were more likely to zoom in than to need an ultra wide lens. So if that data really is true, I definitely understand the change, especially because both of these phones are mainly going to be used for selfies and taking photos of friends. But again, as someone who likes to vlog, I really miss the ultra wide camera a lot. That being said, the Motorola's cameras are both pretty solid. They do a good job for both picture taking, color accuracy, sharpness, and of course, a little bit of zoom. But if you compare the cameras of the Samsung to the Motorola, I'd pick the Samsung pretty much every single time. I feel like the colors are more true to life and the sharpness is pretty much consistently better. Also, there's something about the video quality that I just prefer on the Samsung. So this is an audio and video test of both phones, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 and the Motorola Razr Plus 2024. How do I look, how do I sound? I don't know, they're both good for vlogging. I like the fact that they both have that front facing view Finder. That's awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. That said though, for most people, both of these cameras are solid and you can't really go wrong either way. It really only comes down to the details and if you're nitpicky about certain things, that might be your deciding factor between these two phones. When it comes to software, the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 uses a almost stock version of Android with some Motorola apps and features built in. The Z Flip 6, as you would expect, uses Samsung's One UI, which they use on all of their phones. It also features a lot of Samsung's AI features like circle to search and sketch to drawing or sketch to picture or whatever it's called, portrait generator, things like like that stuff that's all kind of gimmicky but can be fun. If you do travel a lot, however, the Samsung might be the way to go because it has the live translate feature where you can talk to the phone in one language and it spits out the translation on the outer screen and then the other person can speak into the phone in their language and it spits out the translation on the inner screen so you can have a conversation through your phone. It's not perfect, but it is a really cool thing. To be honest, that's really the only AI feature that I've seen on any of these flip phones that actually makes solid use of this flippable screen. But now let's get to price because that might be the deciding factor for a lot of people out there. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 is $1,100. It's increased in price about $100 over last year's Z Flip 5. The Motorola Razr Plus 2024 has stayed the same price at an even $1,000. So between these two phones, which are pretty evenly spec, there is a $100 price difference. And I'll be honest, I think that's kind of a big deal because these phones are pretty similarly spec. They're both very similar overall. There are some things that one phone does better than the other, but that's about it. So let's go over the pros of each of these phones and I'll tell you guys which phone I would pick and then you guys can make your own decisions. So the pros of the Z Flip 6 are a slightly faster processor. In my opinion, a tighter and possibly better overall build quality, although it's negligible. Better overall cameras, especially if you want an ultra wide. Better AI features and probably better software support over time. Samsung phones tend to get quicker Android updates even if you have a slightly older phone. And now Samsung is saying that they're supporting their newer phones 
phones up to seven years, which is kind of wild. That basically means that you get seven years of Android updates and security updates. So if you keep your phone for seven years, which is honestly a pretty long time, you're good to go. All that said, the Motorola also has a lot going for it as well. Right out of the gate, the Motorola has the better price. It's $100 cheaper for a very similarly specced phone. My favorite part of the phone is the front screen, which is significantly larger than the Samsung and honestly more usable. You've got larger screens overall. They're both faster refresh rates. You've got a faster charging battery and a battery that lasts you slightly longer. And the design of this phone is super unique and in my opinion, a little bit more usable than the Samsung's. No, the cameras might not be as good as they are on the Samsung. And yes, you might be waiting a couple years before you get an Android update, which is kind of a bummer. You are getting a phone that is very capable in almost every other aspect, except for maybe speed, but that's not even that noticeable. So which phone is better? Well, it really depends on your use case. I think that the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 is a better value, not only because of the cheaper price point, but because of the very unique design, the larger screens, and just the coolness of this phone. I think this phone is really, really cool and very stylish. However, if you're a content creator like myself, or you like taking photos on your phone, I would probably lean more towards the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6. And the reason for that is because the cameras are better. I also personally really like the aesthetics of this phone. I think the industrial design is super cool. I don't like that it's so difficult to open compared to the Razer. That is one big minus. But I think if a good camera on your phone is like the most important thing to you, this is the only way to go. But again, both of these phones are excellent. You really can't go wrong either way. For my personal use cases, I probably would go for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, although I like a lot of the things on the Razer. Whereas my wife would actually go for the Razer Plus 2024. She just prefers the way it looks. She prefers the usability of it and just overall the fact that it's a Razer because we both grew up in the 2000s and we both had Razer phones and they were awesome. But let me know which one of these two phones you would pick in the comment section down below. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We are about to hit 100,000 subscribers. I'm not totally sure, but I think we're less than 1,000 subscribers away, at least at the time of filming this video. Maybe we've hit it by now. I don't know. This video probably won't come out for like a couple days to a week after I filmed it. We'll see, but hopefully we hit it soon. I'm so excited for you guys to be a part of it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.